Shalom. All praise is glory and honor to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Ba'asham Racha HaKodash and double honors to the apostles. And today, lots of great millstone and salutations and peace belong to the elect of the nation of Israel through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. I'm your brother Mark Kola, the great millstone Jamaica camp with another seed to feed the potential elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. And uh, basically, we're having some, some serious weather here in um in the Caribbean, some abnormal rainfalls man. And you know, I did a lesson one week ago called Government Your Government Sell You Out on my channel GMS Five Precepts J, which basically this is my backup channel. But on, on my main channel, which is GMS five precepts which i which i have a strike now you know on my main i think i did it i think i uploaded it on my main channel before i got that strike right where is it here's more content on this channel oh it wasn't on it but on this channel i've i've, I've been going through these topics you know constantly you know i've been speaking about urbanization and the UN goals and you know this channel has more content on it because I said the, the other one is, is my backup channel you know the one that I'm using now because I have a strike and I won't be able to upload until what January the 26th on that on that channel but anyway go and check out this 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 um channel and you get a whole lot of information on this channel as pertaining to what I'm about to speak about right now however now let's let's take a look right on this video first and foremost right now look at this the bigger picture even beyond that as ada uh, potentially comes ashore here's the latest uh, eps uh, probability guidance of yet another storm potentially forming and this would be theta we're talking this is friday saturday and sunday so tomorrow we'll be in the five day zone from the national hurricane center right now and i would not be surprised if they start hinting at a uh, x in this area where they give a 20 percent chance of uh, development within a five day period so we're starting to hint at that window, uh, if not tomorrow, maybe Tuesday, uh, where the National Hurricane Center probably comes on board because we have a lot of guidance showing that potentially yet another storm forms just south of Jamaica uh, by, by next weekend. And here's, you know, what is it going to do after that? Well, you know, some of the guidance lifts it, lifts it north again. And here's the latest uh, Canadian model. I know Jamaica has been on the the outskirts or what the or the cross hairs. Uh, from a Zeta and then as well as Ada. So you never really had direct impact, but you had a lot of indirect impacts and you've been uh, pummeled with heavier rains and landslides over the next last several weeks. And we have to really look out for uh, Theta because uh, there are hints of signs of this lifting northward throughout the period with that 500 millibar, uh, you know, MJO in phase eight and one would signify a north turn. And the latest uh, Canadian model, of course, is just one model but this would actually take it directly over the island of jamaica of a, of a 980 millibar that would potentially be a hurricane at that point uh we're talking next monday so i'll, I'll definitely be on the lookout uh for this feature and the definitely the path of where it's going. yeah and and this is the third one man <laughs> you know this is the third one see the theta as what they call it theta <laughs> whatever and you know, we, 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 we've been filtering, the brothers here in Great Mr. One Jamaica, we've been filtering all this that has been taking place through the spirit. Because even the, in the lesson that I show you that says your government sell you up, I uh, mentioned about the first time that the mainstream media didn't say a thing on it. And we have a lot of alternative source was speaking about it and the mainstream media didn't say anything. And... How convenient was it for the government of Jamaica to basically to come out and says non build zone and and areas that are prone to disasters um, and landslide because if you go on flat land then you can be flooded and if you go on a hillside guess what you can have landslide so where you're supposed to go really when when you get deep at it 
but a whole lot of people is gonna buy into it because um there are some things that are happening like uh, landslides which we're gonna show in this lesson there are landslides you know floodings so on and so forth houses being buried by um landslides and waters and oh some crazy shit man no my point that i want to bring out is that this is not normal you know this is by design and your government that your, your precious andrew wellness or whosoever that is in the seat with him he's a part of this man he buys into to this you know he buys into this so much to bring forth this new world order agenda I'm, and i'm gonna prove it to you i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna show you that this this continuous rain that we've been having for quite some time now is not normal man this is this is definitely not normal and um you know it, it's by design but before that i wanna I want to get me a scripture. Um, I can't remember the word in. Okay, right. right. Yeah. I want to get me a scripture, you know. Micah 3 verse. Let me start at um, Micah 3 verse 9. It says, Hear this, I pray you, you heads of the house of Jacob, speaking unto your politicians. Who is Jacob? the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians. We are the children of Jacob. We are the sons of Jacob. And you are the heads, the ones that are leading of us. So the Lord says, the Lord is speaking to you. You know, directed to you, whether Christopher Tufton, Mr. Chang, and Joe Wallace, you know, where's what, whatever country you're located in. Once you're a judge of the people, once you're a prince over Israel, then the Lord is speaking definitely to you. He says, Hear this, I pray you, you heads of the house of Jacob and princes of the house of Israel, that abhor judgment and pervert all equity. You sell out your people, man. You sell out the Lord's people. And the Lord is going to judge all of you for that shit, man. Every single one of you, your family, your household, the Heavenly Father is going to get for that. The entire household, because you have despised His word, and you have despised his laws, you have despised his ways, you sell out your own people. What do you think the Heavenly Father is going to look at you, man? Yeah? That, that, that despised judgment, true or true, I say true judgment, that look up to your goddamn hen, um, uh, enemy for help, the so-called white man. Verse 10, it says, They build up Zion with blood, and, yo, and Jerusalem with iniquity, because the blood of your own people, you, you, you're basically using them as a sacrifice with this whole weather thing to bring forth a new world order, an agenda that is not yours, an agenda that is of the enemy. The enemy, the same enemy that brought our four parents over here in captivity, you're in league with them. You're in bed with them. And you're doing it for the earth and your own people. So, oh, what do you think? You think the Lord is going to just sit by in the heavens and just look at you? destroying his people and they say oh no, that's just it and then it's just gonna be oh happy day hell no hell no so if that's what you have in your mind you make a sad mistake man verse 11 says the heads there of judge for a reward and the priests there of teach for hire and the prophets divine for money yet will they lean upon the lord and say is not the Lord among us? None evil can come upon us. And that's your attitude. Because you have the, 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 the police force. And you have the military. And you have all the powerhouses. You think Esau Edom is with you. But the Lord is against you. man. And if the Lord is against you. It doesn't matter who is with you. He's going to get you. And I'm telling you this man. The Lord Yahweh is going to get all of you. That sell out his people. It says therefore shall Zion. For your sake be ploughed as a field, and Jerusalem shall become heaps and mountains of the host as the high place, places of the forest. And I'm going to show you where our people is dying, you know, and, and we, we are being ploughed now in a physical sense right now in Jamaica. And I'm going to show you something. So let's go back right here. Right? No. I, I don't even know where to start, right? No. So... I'm going to show you that this is all weather modification. Hold on. 
let me let me get some. Oh, this is in this, this is in Honduras. Hold on. Oh, this is in Jamaica, right? Eh? <laughs> Finishes yet. This is what. can see right here November the 8th Sunday it says a minor earthquake was felt in Jamaica at 2 59 p.m. East local time so so it's an earthquake again all right so hold on I'm gonna show you something hold on because the purpose of this, of this video is to show that this 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 continuous rain was normal and your government is in league with it. It is there in bed with the so-called white man with these these tropical storms and hurricane out there to to basically drive you people into fear to get you into them um, smart cities, man, which they are building, you know, and um, urbanization, which is a part of the UN goals to remove you people or relocate you from where you live and to 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 chuck you up in in boxes man yeah like really to chuck you up in boxes no I'm, and i'm gonna prove it to you give me a second right? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not able to go live, but this is what the road look like at Garden Town. I'm like I haven't even get. Uh, it look, seems as if I deleted all the terrible scenes, man. What is this? What? This is something different. This is something different. Can't even play that. Anyway, um, yeah, this is it, man. You know, um, a whole lot of uh, disastrous things happening. You know. But anyway, when you go back to the scriptures, man, you know, the Lord basically told us that you will visit these, these this way. So let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 29 verse 6. He says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and flame and the flame of the void fire. So you can actually see that this is a visitation of the Lord, man, because ultimately... He's the one that's doing it. But he's using these puppet leaders and he's using Esau Edom, which is a so-called white man, to bring forth his agenda. And this is just the beginning of sorrow, man. This is just the beginning of what's going to happen, right? Yeah. So, I've been saying that this is by design. Now, let's go into Wikipedia. Now, this is called Operation Papai. What is Operation Papai? He says, Operation Papai, Project Control Weather Papai. Motor, pool, intermediary, comp compatriot. He says was a military, right? He says was a military cloud seeding. What is clouds? As before, we even going further. Let's go, let's check up on cloud seeding. He says cloud seeding is a type of weather modification that aims to change the amount or type of 
precipitation that falls from clouds by dispersing substance into the air that serve as cloud condensation or ice nuclei which alter the micro philosophy the micro uh, microphysical process processes within the cloud the usual intent is to increase precipitation rain or snow but hail and fog suppression are also widely practiced in airports where harsh weather conditions are ex experienced so basically cloud seeding is is going up into the clouds which they don't have to go up in the clouds anymore because they can make them from the ground now is to basically put nuclear and fluoride in, in, in the cloud to get it heavy so that rain can fall or snow or whatever. That's cloud seeding. So let's go back to Operation Papaya. It says cloud seeding was a military, um, Operation Papaya was a military cloud seeding carried out by the US Air Force during the Vietnam War in 1967 to 1972. The highly classified program attempt to ex extend the monsoon season over specific areas of the Ho Chi, Ho Chi Minh Trail in order to disrupt North Vietnamese military supplies by um, softening roads, surface and causing landslides. So, so, so they're, they're, they're the ones that causing rain to fall and you know to bring forth landslide because if you know about the Vietnam War you'd know that the, the, the US military at the time had the they are, we are the powerfulest military which yeah, they're powerful they are they totally underestimated the Vietnamese camp you know and when they went on the ground and bullets started to fire they even started to shoot in each other because they didn't know where bullets was coming from you know they had they, they yes they massacred a whole lot of Vietnamese but to what cost a lot of them die and for what so when you look at it their casualties was high even though the Vietnamese can um ca Vietnamese casualties was higher because the Vietnamese what they use was a thing called the Ho Chi Minh Trail you can you can go and, and um research the, what is the Ho Chi Minh Trail to supply themselves with guns and ammunition to keep on fighting with these american soldiers continuously you understand he says the former u.s secretary of defense robert s mcnamara was aware that the that there might be objects raised by the international scientific community but said in a memo that the president said in a memo to the president that such objections had not in the past been a basis for prevent for prevention of military activities considered to be in the in interest of u.s national security he says the chemical weather modification program was conducted from thailand over cambodia laos and vietnam and allegedly sub and allegedly sponsored by secretary of state henry kissinger which henry kissinger that's a devil man he, just if you don't know who is Henry Kissinger, go and look up Henry Kissinger. Yeah, this man truly believes in war. You know, he he was the one that sponsored it. it. Says Henry Kissinger and CIA without the authorization of then Secretary of State Melvin Lahird, who had categorically denied to Congress that a program for a modification of the weather for use as a tactical weapon even existed so so henry kissinger you know he's, he's a part of the elites basically he's doing way more than the, the, the what the secretary of state even knew knew because what you have to understand is that they have an agenda and and they are, are pushing their agenda no this is operation papaya that i just read about remember that's operation papaya the seeding of the cloud no Hmm, one might say that's in Vietnam. No, let's go back to the Jamaica Observer. And this is an article. It says, is it time now to seed the clouds and force the rain? And this article was published on July the 30, 2014. Right? So it was published on July the 30th, 2014. It says, during one of the worst periods of, the, of drought in Jamaica, 
during the 1970s, the authorities resorted to cloud seeding in order to force the rain to fall. You hear that? We're speaking about Jamaica. So you can see that this rain that is falling is not normal, man. And I'm, as I said, I'm going to show you. So this is by design. It says cloud seeding broadly defined is a form of weather modification to increase precipitation by sh by shooting certain substances into the clouds from aircraft. This can produce rain and snow. Admittedly, cloud seeding has been dodged by controversy in that there are those who believe that once the clouds are seeded, there is no guarantee of more rainfall or that it is not possible to control the amount of rainfall. Scientists disagree among themselves about the use of the chemical like silver iodine or potassium iodine too. I don't even have to go any further. I don't even have to go any further. This shows that, guess what, the cloud seeding does exist and it happens here in Jamaica. So, how all of a sudden, yeah, how all of a sudden this, this, this whole, um, this wall of a landslide and and, and, and and a place flooding out and the government is now saying um no build zones and 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 they they keep on speaking about um uh, sustainable development uh, you know and moving forward and urbanization is a part of sustainable development but maybe you can't see it because you're not spiritual what did the scripture say in, in um first Corinthians 3 verse 15? Let's get that. First Corinthians 3 verse 15, if I'm not mistaken. Uh no, it's first Corinthians or second Corinthians. Bear with me. One second. Alright. Right. No, sec first sec first Corinthians 2 verse. Um, 14 it says but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of God for they are foolishness unto him neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned you know you have to you have to be in the spirit to actually see what's taking place now the Lord have to actually open your eyes spiritual eyes for you to see what's really happening this is not normal man this is not normal I'm, I'm going to show you it says but he that is spiritual judges all things yet he himself is judge of no man and that's the part that I wanted there it says he that is spiritual judges all things so we weigh and filter everything through the spirit man I'm going to go for another article I'm not sure what's the name of it I'm going to show you something Give me, bear with me for one second right right so I found the article from the star it says government to declare noble zones Says Prime Minister Andrew Wallace said that the government will move to prevent people from living in places vulnerable to natural disaster. Right? Urbanization at it, at its best, man. And there is there is no what should I say? There is no coincidence in this. None at all. Says like leaders before him only said that the practice of persons living in danger zone areas such as gully banks cannot be allowed to continue as it is putting lives at risk and affecting the country's productivity we have to now put in place policies that will seek to ensure that we get jamaicans to choose to live where it is environmental safe who only said admitting that the change will not happen overnight and see he's speak, he's speaking about environmental safe look it doesn't matter where you are. If the devil of father wants to split the earth and heat your asses up, man, you'll do it. See? So, the simpler for people might say, oh, that's that's true because you live on gully banks. Yeah, but why over the years when people are asking the government for a cheaper price to purchase a piece of land or, let, or try to capture a piece of land and then to try to go through the legal way to get a, a land title to be a holder of the land so that they can pay taxes that is hard but all of a sudden you're gonna move them from there why because you want to, to put them in your zones man you want to put them in 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 in, in your your hut so to speak where they, they come down to one level now go back and watch a video that i that i did mark your government sell you out because your government 
he is for or he is with the agenda of the of these men the un agenda um vision 2030 sustainable development and the un goals and they and they are pushing for it man they are, they are pushing for it so hard because guess what and Jules have these men as 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 the power over him as if there is not a god in israel furthermore do you believe that you're an israelite do you believe that our people are the israelites remember the other day the, the governor general after they've been wearing that badge for so many years man saying he's rejecting that badge because on the badge and, the, and there's a there's an image of a white angel stamp stomping out a so-called black devil a black man that's a devil yeah and they've been wearing it so long so long man so so friggin long see and and you, you should be ashamed of yourself all of you in in parliament that that basically hold to to this weakness that these men are doing not warning the people man scripture says a wise king will instruct his people you know this is as a matter of fact let me see if i can get that a wise king let me see if i can get that if, uh, Uh, I think it's in Proverbs. It's, uh, right. Right. Proverbs. Uh, I can't remember the exact exact wording. It says a wise king scattered the wicked and bring it the wheel over them. That's not the scripture I'm looking for. Be with me a second. Yeah. I think he says something like a wise king will instruct his people or something like that. Okay. Child and a old foolish king. Okay. I can't remember the exact wording. Be with me. Salakia. Uh, be with me, man. Oh, it's a wise judge. I think he says a wise judge. I think he says a wise judge. Ah. Uh, right. Alright, so here is here it is, man. Ecclesiastes 10 verse 1. He says, A wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. And you can see that's not happening now. Here in Jamaica, he says, As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers, and what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. So Mr. Wallace, you're taking your, your, your orders from the powers above you. And the ones that are below you, they're taking the same orders from you. Likewise, the police, they're taking the same order. The military is taking this. And that's, that's the reason why we are where we are, where we are today, you know. See? Verse 3 says, An unwise king destroyed his people, but true the prudent of them which are in authority the city shall be inhabited and guess who's in that authority the men of the lord man the men of the lord we're in authority to bring forth this gospel to bring forth this ministry you know um what city will be inhabited jerusalem because we believe that yahweh shai our lord is going to come back and he's going to deliver us from this hell that's that's our faith we hang on to that firmly you know that's what we believe in because how then would we know these mystery if if the lord didn't reveal it unto us he revealed it unto us so therefore we speak and we speak because we believe 
we believe because the Lord gave us the faith or the gift of faith for us to believe, man, and the spiritual eyes to, 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 to see what's been taking place right now. Right? So Jeremiah 5 verse 26, it says, For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set its snares. They set a trap. They catch men. Because being a part of this agenda for cloud seeding and these weather, weather modifications, you show that you're a part of it, man. You're setting a trap for your own people. <laughs> you're setting a trap for your own people. You're destroying the Lord's people. You know? You're destroying... And, and trust me, the Lord don't take that light, man. The Lord don't take that light. You're gonna, all of you're gonna get it. He says, as a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and wax and rich. You're deceptive. That's the reason why when you come um, in election time, you speak a whole lot of things that make a whole lot of empty promises that you can't be able to fulfill. But you know, you're gonna play upon the ignorance of Jake, you know, and they're gonna follow you. Even though they say, oh, we don't want to see no politician because every year are the same thing. But guess what? Because of desperation, they're going to follow you because they can't get a 5,000 or 2,000. So you, you play upon the ignorance of our people and, and you use it against them. So therefore, the father is looking at that and he's going to judge you because you, you're dealing with the fatherless, you know, as, as, you know, as you want. We are the fatherless, man, really. It says they are waxing fat, they shine, yeah, they overpass the deeds of the wicked because when you actually sell out your own people, man, you, you overpass Esau and his wickedness, man. It says they judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper, and the right of the needy do they not judge. Shall I not visit for these things, say the Lord? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely and the priests be ruled by their means and my people love to have it so. And what will he do in the end thereof? Because when these men come out and say, oh, no bill zones. People, got, a, lot of, a lot of people been saying, it's long time the government should be doing this. Yeah, but where, where are they going to live? You're going to stop them in your matches box, man. And ultimately, they're going to have to receive a vaccine and a microchip, man. Ultimately becoming perpetual slaves all over again. This is a trap. This is a trap. And if you and if you're not with Yahweh Shai, you're against Yahweh Shai. And if if you can't see it, then something's wrong with you, man. Something's really wrong with you. <sighs> man, yo, I praise to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. Now let's go to the book of uh, hold on, Baba Kwasha. Be with me a second. Um No, this is Saint John chapter uh, is the, the whole chapter is good man. See it's the starting at verse six it says This pirate speak you how shine to them but they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. Then said Yahweh Shai Mashiach unto them again. Verily, verily I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. So everybody else that came up before this ministry that speaks something else apart from what we what we're teaching are what thieves and robbers verse 9 i am the door by me if any man enter in he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pastures not peter phillips not lisa hannah not andrew wholeness not christopher tufton none of you Verse 10, it says, The thief cometh not but to far to steal and to kill and to destroy. And who is that thief? Esau Edom. And that's his purpose, to come and to destroy. And he's going to use our people to do that. As you can see with this whole word of, word of modification. It says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. 
But he that is an hireling like your government and not the shepherd whose own sheep are not see the wolf coming and leave the sheep and flee it and the wolf catch them and scatter the sheep. The hireling flee because he is an hireling and care not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Right? So, that's the Lord speaking, man. You know? <laughs> that's the Lord speaking about his sheep, which are, which are the Israelites. But chiefly, his elect. You know? The Israelites are referred to as the sheep, man. Remember the Lord said he is not sent but unto what? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. These men don't care two cents about what, what, what's happening about our, our, to our people. They just want to bring forth this agenda. Not understand that this agenda is going to cut them out of the pie. Because they are collecting the crumbs and because maybe they are on a video doing some nastiness that can be released anytime or some video with some wicked act that would be yo man man this place is through man seen and the scripture tell you that Esau was gonna free up and deceive the earth man seen and, and work miracles sending even fire from ever so you, so you can see why why these men drop drop man it's like Whenever they hear these men names like uh what's his name? I read about him not too long in the article. Um Henry Kissinger. When 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 Jonas hear about Henry Kissinger, all he can do is start to kiss his balls, man. <laughs> no, you know, cause he himself don't have a peer. Unlike unlike the men of the Lord. See? What did the scripture say? Let's let's go to um Isaiah fifty eight. Verse 1 He says Cry aloud, spear not, lift up my, thy voice like a trumpet And show my people their transgressions and the words of Jacob their sins And it's not even only our people You know we, We're doing it for, even for, for the heathen to see that Look, your time is come I'm going to show you Let's go to um, see him, Isaiah 13 verse 1 He says the burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see, on Babylon today is America. It says, Lift thee up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them. And a mountain represents a government. So meaning we're gonna go out there with the scriptures, go on the highways and the byways, and we're gonna be sometime we're gonna be on the top of our voice, cursing your asses out, man. It says, Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand. When you're shaking the hand and speaking, that mean you're cursing, man. It says, shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for mine anger. Even them that rejoice in my highness. It says, the noise of a multitude in the mountains like as of a great people. A tumultuous noise of kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts muster the host of the battle. Because here you are. Kissing this, the so-called white man's ass. What do you know about the battle that the Lord is preparing, man? Do you know about this battle? He says, they come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. So this is speaking about the missus, because when the Lord's um, coming in, the missus is going to be coming to hit America, because the Lord likened the, the, these missus to his army. So who you gonna fear? You're gonna fear Esau, Edom, and not warn your people. The scriptures say if you don't warn the people, the blood of the people is gonna be on your hand, right? So we we gonna fear Esau, Edom and to, to not warn the people. Are you gonna fear Yahweh Basham Yahushai? Which is gonna come with his army, man. It says O oh, he, for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. And they shall be afraid, pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them. 
they shall be in pain as woman at your violet. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners there out of it. What land? America. And when that happened, even this very land that we, we live in and are we base upon now is going to go right. And it's going to sink, man. <laughs> you know, scripture say all the islands are moved out of their places. Speaking of government as well, but also actual islands, really. we're on fault lines as well. Because the earth is going to go back to its natural um, um, course, man. So who are you going to fear? Are you going to fear Esau, Edom? Or are you going to fear Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai? But we know you are of your father, the devil, man. So you're not going to fear the Lord. Not, well, not yet. <laughs> you know? But when it's too late, you're going to try to repent. And then you're going to find out that the Lord wasn't with you and was with them. Then you're going to wonder whose name was there written in the book of life, man. To how the judgment of the Lord is going to be brought forth. Anyway, I think I think I make my point. See, this weather is, is basically, it's not genuine, <laughs> so to speak. You know, this is by design. And they're using their instruments because this man weaponized everything. To control this weather for a purpose. And your leaders, they are playing in it, man. And they are playing it so well. So you need to wake up, man. Repent and see what's going on. Shalom.